Hi everyone, I am um, Sadan from Team Digit and uh, we previously looked at the Asus M50 on EC desktop. So this is our uh, third week with this desktop and today we will be looking at the benchmark scores of this desktop along with a cool feature of this desktop which is the power pack or the Asus power pack as they call it. So this is the power pack actually installed inside the desktop and it's powered on and charging right now. So what this does is uh, it acts as a uh, mini UPS for your desktop. So in case of a power cut, the the desktop is powered on by this uh, using this power, uh, power pack. Yeah. So I'll be removing the power plug from the back of this case and uh, we'll show you how the desktop is still working. Yeah. So let me do that. So here I have removed the power plug and the desktop is still powered on so basically this gives you a lot of time to you know save your documents and shut down the desktop let's check out the peripherals that asus has provided with the m 51 ac so they've included the standard wireless keyboard and mouse with the device so this keyboard has uh, soft touch keys which feels nice to type on uh, at the back of the keyboard they've got the pretty much you know standard stands They've also included the uh, batteries for the keyboard and the mouse uh, in the package as well. So they've bundled that in the package. The mouse is a standard mouse but it has a DPI switch on the top. So you can switch the DPI on the fly. Uh, and uh, it has space for just you know inserting your transmitter uh, inside the mouse when you're traveling somewhere or taking the mouse along with you. Yeah, and it also has a on-off switch at the back of the mouse, so you can turn it off when you're not using the device. In order to test the performance of the Asus M51 AC, we ran a couple of benchmarks on the system. And uh, for example, we ran the PC Mark 8 benchmark. So this is the uh, PC Mark 8 home score for the device, which is 2969, and it is a decent score for home use. Uh, this basically use, uh, uses casual gaming, video chat functionalities and photo editing and writing. Uh, also web browsing in its backend while benchmarking so it gives a proper score uh, while that is working. Next we have the creative score for the M51 AC. So this basically focuses on the mainstream gaming part, video editing, batch video editing or photo editing features and uh, as well as music playback so this score that is 2692 is a decent score uh, in terms of the creative aspect of this device as well but finally we have the uh, pc market work score so this uses ms office uh, in its back end while benchmarking so according to that uh, score is 4319 and it is a very good score when it comes to working with this uh, desktop and uh, it is a recommended desktop for that use so let's uh, look at a movie which is uh, nearly uncompressed uh, full hd and see how it plays back on this device So as you can see there was no visible stutter with the playback. So this is a nice thing when it comes to playing full HD videos. This uses the NVIDIA GT620 GPU uh, and this functions very perfectly in this sense when it comes to playing HD videos. Uh, you must take a note that, the, uh, that ASUS gives you an option to choose your own screen because the desktop only comes with the keyboard, the mouse and the desktop as well, that's it. So you just have an option to buy your own screen, be it a smaller screen or a larger screen, it depends on your option. So that's it for this week. Stay tuned for more videos as we will be covering uh, the ASUS utilities in our next feature. Thank you.